I've got a new app I want to tell you about it. It's called Web SDR. I really need uh, to do a video demo for this one because I think most people won't know what SDR is. So um, SDR stands for Software Defined Radio. Uh, and what this app does is if you look at this um, list here, it has a list of a lot of really a lot of uh, organizations, mostly universities, that are volunteering to connect a server somewhere up to a, a, a radio. Uh, and it, it usually connects to the server by USB. But what that means is that you can connect to these servers for free and you can listen to the radio in their location. So for example, this first server is um, in the Netherlands. And when I press this button to start the audio, um, we are now connected to this server. I'm going to zoom out and you start to see on the screen these, these uh, purple bands which represent uh, areas in the radio spectrum where there's uh, somebody transmitting in the location of this server in the Netherlands. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on um, this area right at the bottom of the spectrum because uh, I see a lot of uh, action down there and we will uh, tune in there and I'm not getting any sound because it's muted so turn the volume down a little bit so obviously you can hear we are uh, listening to the radio and we can listen to other stations, we've got talk radio. I don't know what that is. Uh, there's a whole lot of nonsense and noise in here. Um, so what's interesting about this, I'm gonna turn the volume down again, is um, we're not just listening to uh, AM and FM radio stations, although there's a, you, know, you can choose AM and FM, you can also choose a lot of other choices, like uh, we have lower sideband, upper sideband, Morse code, um, and this allows you to listen to a wide variety of radio signals, uh, from things to like uh, maritime weather broadcast beacons, um, uh, taxi drivers on, on citizens band radio, I mean anything that's in the radio spectrum, you can see when you zoom out on this, um, you can listen to everything. And this isn't just at one station, uh, at one place in the Netherlands, but you have this um, uh, this worldwide, uh, hello, say, uh, he wants to be in the video. We have this, yeah, you just relax right there. We have this enormous collection worldwide of all these different places that are allowing you to listen in to the radio um, in their area. And so you're gonna hear a, a, an astounding variety of different sounds and noises and you're going to hear um, data and Morse code and and just all kinds of crazy things that are coming out uh, in the radio spectrum and of course um, all of that stuff that you're hearing is being routed into your audio unit host so now you can control the volume you can mix it you can run uh, effects on it um, you know whatever whatever you want to do it, it, with respect to using those sound effects inside of um, whatever you're doing musically in these audio unit host apps. So that is, um, I think that's that's enough for a first demo of Web SDR. If you if you mess around with it, uh, there's you know it's, that's not enough. I should do one more thing. I like this first station, and I think a lot of other people do. Um, we have uh, a mobile. Um, UI for most of these websites, but you can turn it off and see the desktop UI. So here we see, um, for example, here's a picture of the actual USB card that, that works as the radio receiver. Um, and then the, uh, the desktop UI has a lot more options in terms of uh, different things you can do. Um, and I, I don't think I'm going to go into what all of these are, but I, I'll give you a quick example of one thing you could do on the desktop that you can't do on mobile. Um, let's say I'm listening to this. Well, you can see the names of the stations are typed in here. You don't get that on every 
every every one, but this one is showing the name. And uh, looks like right now we're listening on USB, but I can see that uh, uh, left and right of the center frequency, we've got stuff on both sides, so it's probably not an upper sideband broadcast. That would be an AM broadcast. And now you hear it more clearly. That's the job but, for them. Mm -hmm. And for some of the people, you know, they might think, you know, as a kind of get it in tune. Job, we I can um, we'll widen out the Korean band. Mm -hmm. For some time and see if I have any. And you hear the sound kind of changes as the bandwidth gets wider. You get more treble frequencies. Reach a certain age, I might find another Let's narrow job. it down. And it is that also so as you narrow it down, you lose some of the, the treble clarity, but you also get less noise. Um, what else can we do? So although this isn't an LSB broadcast, you can go into LSB mode. And it makes a really weird sound on the voice. Um, you could even listen to an AM radio station in FM mode. Uh, which kind of works. Um, that's probably enough. There are a lot of other, let's turn the volume down again. So there are a lot of other buttons and, and options that you can mess around with here. But um, basically the point from a music making perspective is just to give you uh, more ways that you can do crazy stuff and get crazy uh, sound effects into your, into your mixes. Um, so uh, rather than go into detail about how all of this works, I think uh, uh, why don't you give the app a try and you can you know you can mess around with it and and uh, see what it does um, so if you uh, if you're interested I'm going to put the the link to the app in the video description and if you like to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button on YouTube next time we have a video it will more likely come up in your YouTube feed thank you for watching